Welcome to Auto Club for the running of the Auto Club 300. On the pole for today's race, Chris Dodd, and to the outside, Jeff Bright. Third, Tommy Turbo. Fourth, Ron Arndt, running out your top five, Joe Sandrovich, who won the race, the Hershey Kiss of 300, at Daytona. Auto Club's always a fun, fun race for us up here. I don't know about the drivers, though, as they are most of the time three and four wide. But watch out for that five wide. It's usually troublesome for the drivers here in the pack. Here we go. Pace car to pit road. Two, three junior Rally sports cars. Release to the green flag. Here we go. Pace car in, 23 laps. Green flag, we're racing here at All Club. Sandrovich coming hard off of four. He got inside of Tommy Turbo and gets inside of Chris Dodd and off of four. Sandrovich will lead the first lap and right behind him. Jordan Bell who had the most laps at Daytona. Look at how much they fanned out just at the start of this race. It's going to be an impressive race. And Jordan Bell looking underneath Sandrovich. He gained on a little bit through that corner as they come off two down the back. As there are three wide behind them, three by three by three by three, leading the inside Tyler Markle with Derek Bouchard. Bouchard trying to make a move underneath Markle. Don't know if they'll be able to. As Sandrovich powers off of four, he'll lead his, his second lap. Some four wide in the pack. Now to third, Cole Lewis. He slides up into that position. And trying to take advantage is Nat Wagner. Dorian Bell kind of pushing Sandro away from the field. Will he make a move is the question. Here's the place he hasn't already. To the line. It's still Sandro leading Jordan Bell. But now... Here come the Joe Gibbs cars. Cole Lewis and Nat Wagner. Wagner moves to the inside of Cole. And so far, nothing for Sandrovich. That might change after pit stops. As these guys will make adjustments to the car to try and get them better for the end of this run. It looks like Bell can run a little bit lower, but Sandrovich just really has the power. Is that the four coming? Yeah, look at Colin McGovern looking underneath Cole Lewis. As Wagner, your Daytona 500 winner, looks for that second spot. He gets that. Now he has his sights set on Sandrovich. And Jordan Bell right back underneath Wagner. And all this happening behind Sandrovich, and he's loving it. Colin McGovern. Looking for third now. And Gary May coming. Can that Wagner get down line fourth? Does not look like Gary May will let him. We are clean and green so far. McGovern trying to continue his charge to the front. Tried to get underneath Bell. Looks like Bell blocked a little bit. And here comes Bell to the inside. No help. McGovern trying to go by on the high side. Here comes Gary May with a run. Couldn't do anything with it. He gets on his teammate. Jordan Bell moves him up the track. Gary May looking for second. It's all happening behind Sam Drogic, your leader, who is in total control of this race so far. But here comes John Gambit and Gary May working together down the backstretch. Can they? Make a move. Sandrovich has led every lap so far this race. He's led all six. Can he lead all seven? Here comes the line. They will complete seven laps this time as May looks to the inside. Sandrovich lets him go. Will he lead this lap? I think he will. It might be close. 
May led that lap. So that's the first lap Sandra Rose has not led in this race. Gary May to the point here at Auto Club. And right behind them, Joe Verkowski in that 92 car. Looks underneath John Gambit. That's your highest battle up on the track as Sandra Rose back underneath May. That, that 22 car is strong as they are three wide. Gamer Dude put Rakowski into the middle. He's going to start to fall back. Sandrovich up at the front. Four wide behind them. Dodd trying to make his move back to the front. He started on pole. He fell back at the beginning. And Cole Lewis making a, a hard charge. He's looking for second. He has Peyton Beasley behind him. And he might get underneath Sandrovich here. He couldn't quite do it. And Beasley with a run down the back stretch. He has a push from Tommy Turbo. Can he get inside Sandrovich? No. Can he drive it underneath Sandrovich? No, because Tommy Turbo is going to take that spot. Are they five wide back there? That's... Oh, there they go! Big wreck! The zero into it. The 33. Car upside down. The 20 car hard. Upside down. Levi Shones, Nat Wagner. Cars piled over there. Caution out. Sandrovich leads the back. They were five wide. I was about to comment on it, and then they wrecked. Adam Mihal, one of them piled up. Let's see what happened. Here they are coming through three and four. They get five wide with John Gambit on the t high side, Carl Adams, Dan Vanden, and, and Michael Gregory. Now let's go back there. It looks like what happens is Vanden shuts Mihal off, and he goes down into Michael Gregory, and Mihal goes right back up the track into Carl Adams, into John Gambit, Nat Wagner, no go. He gets Jordan Bell. Oh, is that... Who else? Did... Oh, the 40 got some damage. John Gilbert was having a good run. There is where... Uh, Levi Shones got hit. Who did he get hit by? Man, the 90. That was Yuki Hayashi. And... Also, Eli Bright into it. Did that 7 get through that? Did Tyler Merkel miss all this? He has not worked camera again this race. Let's see what happened from his view. He got a little bit of nose damage, but man, it should have been a lot worse. So Sandroge led them back. Of course, they're going to be pit stops. As cars actually stay out, I'm surprised with this. Sandrovich, one of a few to, to pit. These guys up front, or these guys that stayed out, they're probably hoping that these guys will have to come back down pit road. These guys can stay out, pit under green. These guys will also pit under green. They'll have track position. Let's follow Sandrovich's pit stop. As it looks like four tires for that 22 machine. A ton of cars with damage. They see Sandrovich away. Will it be the lead? Yes. Yes, he gets out in front of Tommy Turbo. But he will not be the leader. He will be mired back in traffic because Jeff Bright, among with one, many others, stayed out. We'll get the green flag with 10 to go. Not many cars actually out because that only four. Levi Shones, y Yuki Hayashi, Adam Mihal, and Eli Bright. So... Big pit strategy playing out here. A ton of cars stayed out, including Jeff Wright, Peyton Beasley, Gabriel Wanderley, Joe Rakowski, and Chris Dodd, your top five. And then Cole Deaver, Colin McGovern, Gary May, Jose Fernandez, and Sam Jones, your top ten. And then you've got Eric Willis, Jim Mack, Carl Adams, Dan Vanden, a lot of cars with damage here. Jordan Bell, look at all the cars with damage that stayed out. John Gambit, Nat Wagner, and Michael Gregory. The top 18 stand, stayed out. Sandro first off pit road with four tires, along with Tommy Turbo. That's your top 20. Sandro and Turbo, the first off pit road, they both put on four tires, but they are 19th and 20th in the field. Not good for them, and they are behind cars with damage.
I would say about 12th on back. 12th back to 18th have damage. Here we go. Jeff Wright leading the field. Leading Peyton Beasley. Pace car in. 10 to go at Auto Club. Pit strategy here at Auto Club. The green flag out. We're back racing. And look at them. Look at them bunching up behind as the battle for the lead is on. Let's go back to Wagner, who bunched up the field. It looks like right passed by Wanderley. Chris Dodd also there. So they come down the back stretch. Yeah, some of those, a lot of those cars with damage there are not competitive anymore. Dodd to the inside of Wanderley. Wanderley gives him the spot. Oh, here, here we go. So these guys that stay out pit. Wanderly, the only one, and also some others. Let's see them at the line. Caution out. And Wanderly out of fuel. Kenny coasted around. There's a wreck up in 3 and 4, following the 11 and 51. Wanderly out of fuel on the apron. Is that car stopped? Not yet, still going. He's in first, but that car, obviously not up to speed out of fuel so it looks like Bandon and Gambit involved in this one let's see what happens it looks like Gambit might be out of fuel these guys just up front with damage and Bandon trying to get to pit road hooks down into run arm Sandrovich a hard hit into the wall your dominant car of the day Rex the caution out there Let's see, where did, where, they were not on pit road yet. They'll have to start the back of these guys, and Wanderly runs out. So who's the first car? The 39 of Zachary Fitzwater and Cole Lewis. Stay out. Pit road was open at that point. Yeah, this, this is a mess here. We'll sort this out for you when we get back to green. Going back green with five to go. Cars out because of that incident. Dan Bandon, Joe Sandro, the dominant car of the day. Hoover, John Gambit goes a lap down. And Aiden Shepard had a header go bad under caution. So cars that stay out. Zachary Fitzwater, Cole Lewis... J Mac fell on two, Gamer Dude, and then rounding out your top five, Derek Bouchard. Then Tommy Turbo, TJ Hanley, Ron Arn, Griffin Lynn, and your top ten, Kevin Bandon. Then you've also got Christian Cook, John Gilbert with a ton of damage, Eric Hyden, Tyler Markle, Jay Jefferson. So those guys, the top 15, it looks like, stayed out. Now, these guys pitted, but they pitted when the caution came out. So they had to start the tail end of the line. Luckily, the tail end of the line for them will be behind the cars that stayed out. And leading them is Peyton Beasley and Chris Dodd. So here we go. The end of the race. Will the front, it looks like 15. Is that the front 15 that stayed out? Will the front 15 have enough fuel? They pitted just before halfway. Will they be able to make it on fuel? Will a wreck happen and end the race under caution? What's going to happen here at All Club? Green flag back in the air! Boy, Cole Lewis did get a good start there. And look at J. McFarlane 2 up top. And Gamer Dude to the middle. Cole Lewis to the inside of Zachary Fitzwater. Can he clear him? TJ Hanley with a big run. And off of two... Cole Lewis, your new leader. Down the back, TJ Hanley with a run in that 44. Can he get underneath Cole? He does. With help from Derek Bouchard, this race is not over yet for anyone. Bouchard pushes TJ Hanley up the track. He's going to be your new leader off of four. Bouchard leads Griffin Lynn right behind. Four to go here at Isle Club. They are four wide. Three wide down for the lead. 
Christian Cook to the bottom. Takes it. And here comes Jay Jefferson. With help from Cole Deaver. This race is superb. Here at All Club. Tommy Turbo all the way to the inside. Looking for room to move. They are four wide behind your leaders. Cole Deaver leads. Tommy Turbo in second. At the line. Three to go. Turbo takes the lead just past the start finish line. He does not lead that lap. But with the way they're racing behind, he's just going to need to lead this last lap. Colin McGovern moves to the inside for second. Three by three by three behind your lace race leader, Tommy Turbo. McGovern and Beasley going to try and work together. No, Beasley moves down the line to try and make his way up towards the front. To the line, two to go this time. Jay McMillan, two, has moved to third. All this happening behind Tommy Turbo. He has to make it two more left, but Beasley has cleared this also. Cole Lewis for third. This is outstanding on the track. And Beasley and Turbo get side by side. That's going to open the door for someone behind them. Jeff Bright and Chris Dodd trying to make moves. Dodd to the inside. Three wide for second or for third. They will see the white flag this time. Will they make it back one more lap is the question. Beasley gains on Turbo there. White flag is out. Final lap here at All Club. Who wins the race? Tommy Turbo still leads Beasley right behind along with Chris Dodd. Rakowski to fourth in case these three have something happen to them. Off of two. Down the back stretch. The lap car of Jordan Bell is there. Dodd moves to the inside of Beasley. Can he make a run on Tommy Turbo for the win? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Jordan Bell slows up Turbo. And that's going to hand the win over to the six. Peyton Beasley wins at all club. And look at this crowd behind them. Jordan Bell, the lap car, affected that race dramatically. Oh, no. And Turbo all but had that race won. He had his teammate behind him. He was going to win the race. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, no. You are kidding me. Look at all the positions he loses. I'm sure Turbo and Chris Dodd will not be too happy with what happened there after the race. Turbo ends up coming across the line in sixth place, five positions worse. They should have finished Dodd 13th. All right, let's check the finishing results. Here are the finishing results from the All Club 300 at All Club. There were two caution flags for eight laps. Nine lean changes among nine infantry drivers. Peyton Beasley Lee, or won the race. He led one lap, and it was the final one. Second, and impressive second, Jim Mack. Derek Bouchard in third. Christian Cook fourth. Jeff Wright fifth. Tommy Turbo was leading going into turn four. The lap car of Jordan Bell in the middle of the track affected this finish. He finishes sixth. Sam Jones in seventh. Eighth is Gary May. Ninth is... TJ Hanley, and rounding out your top 10 is Jose Fernandez. So there's your top 20 in this field. Chris Dodd started from pole. He finished 13th. He didn't even get to lead a lap. He was second going into turn four and got stuck behind Tommy Turbo and the lap car. So here's everyone else. Joe, Joe Sandrovich, he was, he led the most laps with eight. He did that pitch strategy. He was involved in the wreck. He fell out of the race. He finished 35th. That's not good for him. And Levi Shones was upside down. He ended up finishing 40th. Let's go to those point standings. Here are the point standings. After two events this season, Christian Cook leads Peyton Beasley, Derek Bouchard, Jeff Bright, and top five points, Jim Mack. Then Sam Jones, Zachary Fitzwater, TJ Hanley, Gabriel Wanderley, and Joe Sandrovich rounds out your top 10 in points. 
So here's your top 20. The only person to finish top 5 in all races so far this season, Christian Cook. An impressive drive for that 70 car. Yeah, of course, this is still unofficial. As they have been, you know, so, so close. Only two, two events, so obviously it'll be more uh, solidified once we get 10 events in. All right, so the next race, your third race, the Stanley 300 at Las Vegas. See you guys then.